Okay, so I'm going to draw this area way, which is a, a light and air um, uh, easement. Yeah, easement is the wrong word, but for uh, for the windows that are below there. And what we see on the photograph <laughs> is um, is that there's a brick curb with a metal railing on top. And so we're going to draw that in right now. It's on the plan, so you know we don't have to worry about it. Let's say it's like a six inch. It's like a six inch curve, and so we always start with little verticals on the corners, and then we take our scale and give it a little six inch, and then we draw it. You see, this is parallel, so this, this is really hard. This way. We need one more here, yeah, yes, we do need one more here. Little vertical there. And that's the outside of it. We're going to do the inside of it too, which is this, this, and this. And we can just do it mechanically, just where it, just follow, follow it around. And you see how I'm flipping from. 30 to 60, mm -hmm. 30 to 60. Um, Interchangeably, basically. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's based on what it's yeah. parallel to. So I used the 60 when I was doing these, and I used right. the 30 when I was doing these. Gotcha. Now, you can't see it very well, um, but when we, when we pull away the sheet, you'll see that there's a little curb, and I've just drawn that raised mm -hmm. edge right there. And now I'm going to do the railing, which, um, let me see. Wow, ah, maybe that here, won't we? Mm -hmm. um, so using the eighth, you, see, you still have to flip this a little bit. <laughs> the eighth scale, because this is at eighth scale, so the railing is three feet tall, with how convenient a rail at each foot. So that means um, I'm going to take a vertical from the sort of the middle of this curve here, here, and here, and this I'm eyeballing. And then I'm going to take three feet up from the bottom, and I'm going to do a little mark at one foot, two feet, and three feet. Okay, because I'm drawing this rail with its intermediate rails here. And so now I take my 60, because it's going to be parallel to those lines. And here's the top of the railing. I'm going to do it in thick lines. And then the two intermediate rails. Then it's going to go this way to here. And I'm going to draw the intermediate rails here and here. here. Um, so there's my rail. It comes this way and this way. And, you know, the odd thing is that it's going to look funny at this yes, open end. Because it because wraps. It, it, comes, it doesn't wrap, it actually it hits comes the into wall. the it hits, oh, it hits, hits the, the wall. building. So we have it on this picture. It just ends in the, in the building. So, uh, so we, you know, we just ignore it. So that's going to be our rail. And let me see if I can just lift this slightly without moving the plan below. You might be able, thank you, to see it. Mm -hmm. See that? Mm -hmm. There. Mm -hmm. You see how it's a. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is coming up into three D. Okay, now let's get to the building. And uh, so I'm really drawing this, this facade here, and I'm gonna, it's going to go up in here, correct? Mm -hmm. um, and so we should have done this before, probably. But I take my eight scale, and I measure these, um, you know, these uh, increments here. Um, let me start this way. So from the wall, we have... One foot here, one foot. Make it one and a half feet, and then the in betweens are like 13, and then one and a half, and then 13, one and a half. Okay, so let's use that as a rhythm. So, taking my quarter scale from this corner, um, I'm going to, you know, I'd rather not put start putting 
notches on the bottom there because I'm going to get confused. So I'm just going to make myself a little measuring line way up here somewhere. And I'll take the measurements up there. And you'll, you'll see why I'm doing that in just a minute. It's just too busy down here. And it's just the same thing. So from up here where everybody can see, I'm giving myself a one and a half foot pier and then a 13 foot distance between the piers and a one and a half and then I'm lazy so I'm not going to add them up. 13, a one and a half, and then 13 and let's see where that gets us. Does it get us to where we want to be? Oh, it doesn't really matter. This is bringing back all sorts of memories. <laughs> Um, so, so you see, this is, these are the piers, So those are more or less these piers. And I see that I've made a mistake because this pier is actually at the end of this railing. So mm -hmm. I think I better fix that. So maybe my measure, maybe these measurements, are, maybe this isn't exactly eight scale. Um, but well, just make note of that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to redo it now with the video and all. But. Um, you know, there's probably 12 feet in between, and this pier actually happens right next to this railing, mm -hmm. which is, is, is not what turned out on my drawing. But let's leave it as it is, because that's just the background for now. And then, then let's get the, the strips of windows in. Um, again, um, assuming this is correct, at eight scale. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we have the height from the floor. From the floor, it looks like it's Not eight feet long. to the first, and then it's a three-foot strip of windows, and then four, and then three. So we said from the bottom. So we start at the, you know, at the level of the terrace below. Eight feet, eight, and then a strip of a three-foot strip of windows. Four, and, and then three. And then, uh, one, two, three, four, and three. So, it's like our strip of windows is going to be here, 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 and then here's the strip of windows. So this is, these are the windows. And it looks to me like the top of the strip of window is the top of the door frame over there. Mm -hmm. And so we'll do another one here. You notice with this parallel bar, I'm not worrying about a T yeah. square. Yeah, that's, that's why it's I, so love right now. I love these. I love this. We're all going to go on by um, one. Um, yeah. I tell you, I bought one when I was a student when they were on sale. And I moved them from desk to desk because you just, you know, you just, it's just a few oh, screws. It's a clamp. And no, it's a screw. screw. It's a screw. Mm -hmm. And I never look back. And I still have it in granite, though. <laughs> okay, so let's get that door in. Uh, it looks to me like this is the top of the building, so I actually can now get rid of these lines. Or you would have drawn these lines in very light, um, very as very light guidelines. But essentially, the building ends here. And the door. So the door is maybe two feet. So two and a half feet and then two feet. So 
two feet. Is that a skinny door? It is a skinny door. You know, it's uh, a... <laughs> There's no way to go. Those backs are thin roof. And it says no it on here. No going through that. All right. It has, uh, it has it on here. ADA. They were really oh, nice to sit in ADA. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah, it's right here, too. The oh, goodness. Yeah. Look, I have it on the phone. <laughs> I didn't need that. I didn't need that. Thank you. So, so here's, the, here's the wall. Um... Oh, no, I'm sorry. So you see, I'm using these. Yeah. I'm using these points right here. Um, see, this is door. I think it has two. It has two. The door has two sides. Like a French door. Yeah. So why wouldn't you come up four feet tall where it starts on the berm? Yeah. Why wouldn't your door? It does. It does start up oh, here. Okay, but okay. My, I thought you were my, starting near my the My dimensions baseline. are on the baseline, mm -hmm. so I just you have to project take them up the and then, same, okay. same projection all the way up. Actually, it's not a finished door. It's like no, it's a it's single not. door I with think, a panel. Yes, mm -hmm. that's what it is. It's a single door with a panel. So, um, and the, the panel is, this is the panel, and this is the door here. Huh. Okay, so if you come around here, you'll see that we have this wall, and it, you know it looks sort of skewed as far um, uh, as compared to the flat elevation, but it's there and it's correct. Um, and sometimes you get tempted to go, you know, to use a different, to do a different angle, and then that can really throw you off. So you have to be careful with that. 